in that book you published with your brother, you explain the difficulties to act um, on climate change in the media. Why? <laughs> yeah. Why? What's the statement of the, of the... Why it's so difficult to talk about climate change in the media? Yeah. Well, I, I, I think well, I, we made that book with my brother who's a climate scientist indeed. He's, he's not a journalist. I'm a journalist. I make uh, radio documentaries for the BBC and, and the Radio France. Um, we, we have many talks together as brothers and sisters can have an argument about the fact that he thought that the media gave too much visibility to climate deniers. This is how it started for the scientists, at least, the story. I mean, scientists realized, my brothers and the many colleagues of his that, that we met for this book, that writing the science or doing the science and communicating the science with the IPCC was really not enough. And I think the, the, maybe some of them realized it before, but most of them realized it when the deniers came on the media really strongly at the end of, well, after the Copenhagen COP, which was dug as a catastrophe. And in France, it was at that moment that scientists, because in France, it's, deniers are mainly scientists, and they are not climate scientists. But they are still scientists, and they have this credibility, and they have for the media, the mainstream media, uh, the journalists who are not specialists, science specialists, or violent specialists. Um, then they were invited everywhere because because it was it was fun really to finally have a debate, supposedly a debate on this topic that is that was such a consensus scientifically that has been since the end of the 1980s for scientists. And, and I think um, journalists who specialize on, on environment and on science say that this is what their colleagues did at that moment, is say, wow, finally we can have a debate. They don't agree, wonderful. They, who is they? The problem is that they were people who were working on the climate system and the other part were not working on this very complex climate system. So scientists realized at that moment that uh, it was really urgent not only to get ready to go into the media, to, to, to know how to respond in the media. It is something that they don't, they don't train for, at least not in France, not much. And the IPCC itself, um, and we met him actually, uh, we met the man that the IPCC actually hired at the beginning of the 2010, their first communication uh, boss, uh, Dirkom, I don't know how to say in English, um, uh, director of communication, who the first time the IPCC realized that it was time for this body that had only been set up for scientists to communicate with the leaders of the world. This is what the IPCC was set up for. Uh, should be very careful. Uh, about its image, and also about how they're going to communicate to the public, so to the media, who are the intermediates. So I think it, the story of our book is really the story of, um, it's mainly in France, I mean, my brother is not especially well known, the idea was not to talk about one scientist, just to say how he realized and his community realized uh, they became aware of it was time to communicate with the public. It was time to get out of their labs and, and, and come and meet the people. It was time to start working with the media, with the journalists, and it was time to open themselves, like the IPCC is doing more and more, to other science, which are sociologists, uh, working with sociologists, working on the perception of their science, and not only just giving us their science like that. So it's really interesting. I mean, I, I, I'm a journalist, indeed, and I, thanks to my brother, I entered this world of, of, of scientists who, who have been shocked by the visibility the deniers were given and, and have come out of their laughs thanks to that. You know, when we laugh together, we, th we say, thank you, the deniers, you know, because thanks to that, <laughs> at least in France, um, our book is about the communication of climate change. We actually have to thank George Marshall because his work uh, has inspired us a lot because we both work in English as well. My brother and I, so we've been able to read this book and translate some sentence and, and some passage. Um, this is this science of climate communication is quite, climate change communication is quite new here. I mean, we're 
Jean Baptiste will, will, will say it more than me, but I think in the USA and in the UK, the work has been done that we have been able to read and and, and we have talked to American scientists and English scientists in our, in our book as well. It seems to me in France it's coming that we are thinking about the perception of science and not just how we can transmit science. And, and that's very interesting what they did, um, the scientists. Yeah, that's a, it's a great way to, to, to start off this conversation. And, and I would like to make this into a, a conversation. So maybe if you each would like to say a few words, uh, we'll go to, to Charlotte. Yeah, so and then 